Good morning, guys. Let's jump in here today uh, and grip God's word. My title, Evil Pursues Sinners. My G's, Jeremiah 41, 6 and 7. Ishmael, son of Nea and Ea, went out from Mespa to meet them. Weeping, he went. When he met them, he said, Come to Gedaliah, son of Ahikim. When they went to the city, Ishmael, son of Nethaniah, and the men who were with him, slaughtered them and threw them into a cistern. My reveal. Okay, guys, I love Jerry's com I mean Joey's comments this month about the book of Jeremiah. He says, it is a dark book, a really dark book. Well, Joey, today, chapter 41 is the darkest, and we're going to get to see about this, man. So uh, my title at work today is Evil Pursues Sinners. Remember, God is fed up with Israel's sins, and he is bringing disaster on them. Here comes Nathaniah, an evil guy. The Jews that were left were happy that they were there still in the land, and their leader, Gedaliah, was in charge. Nathaniah and his ten guys killed their leader and the Jews with him. Some devout men were there, and they were, you know, this is one of my favorite words, guys, they were duped by Ishmael, uh, weeping and, and telling them what to come with him, and they got murdered. Mm. Some were truly uh, taken as prisoners and taken away. Ten of them, bartered their way out of this evil chasing sinners. My implementation. Now that I know evil pursues sinners, what should I do? I should quit sinning. <laughs> Don't run with the wrong crowd. Take an inventory of my friends uh, and who they are and where do they lead me? Do they get me closer to God or do they get me further away from God? Here's what I got to do. We're going to say this a lot this month, guys. Trust God. Pray for his guidance. Read his word. Do what it says. Uh, put great Christians around me to keep me straight. Don't run with evil. Let me pray. Our Heavenly Father, thank you again for this book of Jeremiah. A uh, lot of uh, dark stuff in this chapter, man. The, the Jews had uh, sinned against you, and uh, you were fed up with it, and... Uh, they just had to go through some really tough stuff, Lord. And uh, Lord, we go through some tough things here on earth and uh, we need you to get through them, Lord. We just thank you for being there for us, taking care of us. And we thank you for giving us these tough, dark parts of the Bible, man. It let us, lets us know that we need to get away from sin, Lord, and just help us to do that. Watch them and guide us and forgive us when we fail. For it's in Christ's name I pray. Amen. Okay, guys. Evil chases sinners don't run with the wrong crowd quit sinning get away from sin get you an accountability partner guys and uh get in the word and just do what god wants us to do not what the world wants us to do let me pray us out heavenly father again thank you for these guys that look in on these videos every day and uh Thank you for guiding us through these chapters and the words. And today, Lord, we're just going to ask you to help us to quit to be sinners. Get us away from it, Lord. Help us to do the things you want us to do. Lord, help. And that means that we need to be the leaders in our families. If we set a great example for our families, our families can come along and get away from sin also, Lord. And uh, we just have to trust you with everything. And we thank you for Jesus who covered us when we do sin, Lord. But just keep us away from sin. For it's in Christ's name I pray. Amen. Okay, guys. See you tomorrow.